We're near Atwater, in between Atwater and Merced. This is real sandy soil. And this is a typical area for bacterial canker. Looking at this tree, you can see that it did not push out from this following spring. And this is again characteristic of a general collapse of a first leaf tree. But in the soil, the sandy soil, we tend to have issues with a uh, ring nematode, which predisposes the trees to bacterial canker. Bacterial canker is caused by um, the invasion of the host tissues by Pseudomonas syringae. It's a natural bacteria that's found all over the surface of the plant. And when the tree is stressed, and in some cases where there's cold snaps, this bacteria can invade the tree's tissues and cause um, death of the tissue and this results in... This tissue has been invaded by the bacteria which has caused, uh, killed the tissue. And this, what we call flecking, is very characteristic of bacterial canker disease. Um, we typically use this as well as um, the occurrence of irregular, large irregular shaped cankers that are found on a tree uh, for diagnosing of this disease. We also will then correspond this and re, you know ask to have you guys take a nematode sample, use a nematode sample um, to determine if ring nematode was actually present and if that's the case it's present in a high number, we're seeing this flex, we come to the conclusion of um, bacterial canker. An irregular canker, you can see this is the top part. Um, although this, it's a little bit of a hot day so the tissue browns pretty quick. But what you can see is as you cut into the tree, you have the green tissue and then you have this darkened sunken lesion. This is the canker, what we're referring to when we talk about a canker. And this canker margin is the, the margin between the healthy, the green tissue, and the brown tissue. Um, this irregular shaped canker, what we tend to see with bacterial canker, is again kind of a, a symptom of this disease and it tends to occur frequently as um, in these sand, again in these sandy soils on almond, especially rootstocks that are peach almond hybrids, so their parentage is usually Nemigard peach crossed with an almond. They tend to harbor large populations of the ring nematode and the nematode also reproduces much quickly on those rootstocks, which then feed on the root system, stressing the tree, increasing the occurrence of this disease. Although we're in late May and we're looking at these symptoms, uh, usually these symptoms will appear as the tree pushes out. So we're, this tree has been dead and struggling for a while. Um, as these trees age and when the disease occurs, you tend to get a sweet sour or Swedish sourish smell. They call it sour sap. And that's also, again, very characteristic of uh, being trees affected with bacterial canker.